early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry. I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got a spat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little wreck. Tyrell's surveillance system reported the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the run center dealer or not. Tyrell Security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Your floor number, please. Roof. McCoy, LPD. In just a minute. Where do I go? Grav test on the east wing, 66th floor. Here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendooler ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for last year's infamous Lolita model, a big hit with the all-important dirty old man market. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed, not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? Jesus. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. This hearing yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here, the babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. Lagging behind again? Kusa didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? 
I'm still fitting the pieces together. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? Gaff mentioned something about it. The rogue skin jobs probably flew to Earth. And one of them is a demolitions expert, similar MO to your Vic upstairs. Hell of a coincidence. I'll call you if I find out anything more about your case. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendaller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. Okay, 